Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading, yeah. Scorpio, I hope this video finds you guys vibing high, Scorpio, setting your intentions, uh, being the magician of your life, Scorpio, because after all, you're only on a journey. It's just a journey, Scorpio, and you know, sometimes the journey gets rough, the journey gets tedious, sometimes you may even run into a couple of roadblocks. But you're guaranteed to get through if you continue to move forward. Uh, some of you guys could be traveling here, Scorpio. But you know what, Scorpio? It, it's just you're in this movement energy. Uh, you know, I feel like it's going to start making sense. It could be, um, we got the two. It could represent decisions here. Which direction uh, you want your life to go? How do you see your life being? Uh, which direction would you like your life to go? I feel like this journey is you taking control over your life and uh, creating your reality and moving towards the direction that you desire, Scorpio. Now, Scorpio, you know this is a general, so it's not going to fit for every single Scorpio. Scorpio seems like YouTube then got gangster and things, so if you like this video, you're going to have to thumbs it up because it seems like they're trying to suppress me. Uh, but, you know, it's only going to last for a little while, you know. I, I noticed that, you know, in the high priest, I noticed a lot of, uh, it's not just tarot readers. It's a lot of a lot of different people here. Uh, there is picks and chooses here, you know, unfortunately, but it is what it is, Scorpio. So, uh, if you really rock with me then, uh, and this energy resonates, because you don't have to thumbs it up if, if it don't do nothing for you. But if you say you support me, then all I ask is for a thumbs up, Scorpio, that's all. Uh, having said that, thank you guys so much. Thank you for being becoming a member. I don't know if you guys are able to continue to uh, join. Uh, I haven't received any word back, uh, but I'm sure it's going to be cleared up here soon, Scorpio. I know things are going to work out, Scorpio. I don't worry about certain things. I just know how the thing, you know, I hope... I know how life works here. Uh, it's on your job. It's in your relationship. It's in life. You're going to have challenges here. Uh, in this journey here, there's always challenges here. But I always feel like there is always a, so to speak, a ram in the bush for you every time. There's always going to be a ram in the bush for Scorpio every single time. But it has a lot to do with your uh, your soul, uh, whatever you're feeding, uh, your inner man has to be fed continuously. You have to always work on that. Um, I know that there's a lot of negative energies out here, Scorpio. I'm aware of that, honey. I just don't talk about it because that ain't that ain't the overall energy of my life. Because remember, uh, 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 although the weapons may be formed against you, they're not going to prosper. That's, that's, that's just what it is, Scorpio. There's always a, may, a way made for us all. Uh, you know, and karma uh, pays pays everyone a visit here, Scorpio. So, like I said, Scorpio, thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I do appreciate you guys so much here. There's a lot of, that's a lot of fidgety energy, a lot of fidgety energy here, Scorpio. So, I hope you are really, um, it seems like now it's safer, especially if you're trying to manifest and get things accomplished. Let's say if you're working on a project, uh, if you're trying to launch a new, a new item, a new career or Something you've been working on, I see that too. Now is a good time to stay to yourself and focus on that because the energies that are out here today, Scorpio, they're only coming to distract you and discourage you, but they are a lie. Remember, you're walking by faith and not by what you see, Scorpio. It is an inner no. That's why you are that high priestess here, Scorpio. So as I said, Scorpio, it's a general. So your overall energy, we're using the energy oracle because we're pulling your energy here. So journey, this is what it's all about. You're on a journey. We're on a journey. No one is exempt. Everyone is on a journey. In, look, <laughs> some of y'all don't even know that you're on a journey in per perhaps a loving, caring connection here. Maybe this is what your relationship is about. It's a journey. And it really is. Everything is. It doesn't matter what it is. It, but I feel like the universe is trying to get you to a place where you get out of your comfort zone. You go out of this, this, this uh, bubble or this safe bubble that you may have created for yourself that keeps you safe. Uh, but, but you're not going to see what's out there. You see, this is part of your journey. You see that it, it's so much, it's so much expansion around you. If you just, if you just so dare to take this journey here, look at all this uncharted territory. It was, it once was a song, uncharted territory. I forgot it. I don't think that guy stayed, you know, it's been so many one hit, one hit wonders. But it was uncharted territory. I'm going to have to think of that song. But that was a beautiful, man, I fell in love with that song. And he was even on YouTube because I think he played the um, the organ or the piano. 
Very, very handsome brother, y'all. I don't know what happened to him, but he had a song, Uncharted Territory. And that's what I feel like, Scorpio. It's just that you're about to embark on uncharted territory. And I feel like as the magician, Scorpio, you can create whatever you want it to be. Because I feel like you're on your way to this caring connection unless you're already in this journey of this caring connection. And it's up to both parties to step outside of their comfort zone here, Scorpio. Um... It ain't got to be nobody that you know, even an old person, because now it takes you got you got to really step out of your comfort zone to go after anything, especially romantic relationships, because they're scary. <laughs> they're so scary. Who wants to open up their heart to that? Now you you you're taking a chance here, but it is a journey here, and sometimes you got to you see you got decisions to make. I see this or indecisions here. You gotta go have you gonna have to make up your mind on which direction you wanna take here, Scorpio. I feel like, uh uh. Are we not we steady coming out? That's not coming out though for Scorpio. All right, Spirit. What else for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know for Scorpio's highest good? Spirit, show me Scorpio. Scorpio. Yes, it was so beautiful today. Scorpio, I think it got up to say it felt like 70 some degrees. Now it's gonna drop again. <laughs> Look at you. See there? I was just gonna say the sun was so shiny today. And I and, and how befitting, Scorpio, it came out for you. See there? You see what your journey is gonna lead you to, Scorpio. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. You see that? You see what this journey is gonna lead you to? It's gonna lead you to happiness. You see that even though this, the, but but even in the darkness of this journey, because you don't always know what to expect during this journey, you see how the universe lights your path up for you. You're not going blindly here. This is a time where you're going to have to uh, uh, tap into your intuition. But the only way you're going to be able to know that you know that you know is if you're constantly uh, feeding that inner man and you're constantly uh, investigating things, trying things out. How are you going to know what's real if you don't take that chance to find out? Even if it's scary, you're going to have to find out because look what you're going to get. You're going to get all of this happiness, all of this abundance, all of this new beginning. This is just a vibrant energy. And I feel like it's all pertaining to this caring connection that you so justifiably deserve and desire. This journey is not for anything. It's not for nothing, Scorpio. This journey, may, even though it may have been so hard to you, it may have even seemed so unfair. It may have seemed lonely, scary. It's just to get you to your sunshine here. And we know sunshine for Scorpio means love. <laughs> but fortunately for you, Scorpio, you get it all, honey, with the sun card. You ain't got to just get just the love, baby. You get the honey and the money, Scorpio. This is what this journey is all about, getting to your place of happy. And it's almost like you have to go, you have to go through the race. But at the finish line, look what, it's, look, look, look what you're going to be met with. But it's like the, the universe is lighting your way the whole journey. This whole journey, you're not alone. You have so many ancestors who are helping you, especially emotional. See all this water here? See that, Scorpio? You got it made and you don't even know. Some of y'all don't even know it here. Some of y'all do. But check it out, <laughs> Scorpio. You got the six of swords. And now some of y'all like, shh, y'all moving on. Oh, oh sell on. Scorpio, yeah, yeah. Good times never fail so right. Scorpio, you may be trying to sail on and get the heck on here. Now, maybe someone is trying to resolve an issue with you and they're trying to take the higher road and they're going to have to humble themselves and eat their words. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's how I feel. <laughs> maybe that's the Scorpio-ness. <laughs> Somebody has to humble themselves. Somebody's going to take the high road and go on and humble themselves and apologize to you too, Scorpio. That's what I feel. And this six of swords could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here, Scorpio. Now, you know them air signs that seem to be migrating, so they, they just can't seem to stay away from you. All right, Spirit, what's going on in Scorpio's world? Six of swords. Ooh, snap. Six of Wands, victory, victory, success, recognition. Someone wants to take things, uh, take the high road because they want to be successful or this is something that they recognize that they need to do here in Scorpio. Let's see. 
could be dealing with the leave of somebody's full of regret. Once again, they always feel it when you don't, when you <laughs> when you don't care no more. Here they come, Scorpio. That's that's what anybody is. That's hey, the universe is so peculiar. It, it's really peculiar when you are a human, huh? Doing all this craziness just, just to love somebody. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you putting yourself out there just to love somebody. Four cups here. Someone may uh, have missed an opportunity. Or someone may have rejected an offer here. I feel like somebody feel like they may get rejected here. There's a possibility here or someone is not happy how things are between the two of you. So they're trying to correct it. It's almost like someone is saying, look, here, I know it's a problem here and we need to resolve this issue in order for us to be at peace here some kind of way. Ooh, all right, spirit. What else for Scorpio's love? What's going on in Scorpio's love life, spirit? Five of Wands. Ooh, conflict, competition, all this. Ooh. Inner conflict, all oh, snap. Nine of Pentacles. So maybe this is you getting a lot of recognition because you are single. Who you may be getting a lot of attention here, Scorpio, especially with this five of wands and the nine of pentacles. And it may be making someone feel like their time, they they done missed their opportunity here. And someone may be someone may can't handle competition. It's almost like someone would rather bail the bail ship than to confront. You know, it's almost like somebody like, well, shit, there's too many people trying to holler at Scorpio now. Oh, well, I didn't miss the opportunity. Let, let, let me kick rocks. Let me, let me get out the way here. Because you could very well be getting a lot of success and a lot of attention on you because you are uh, this very independent, very classy, sophisticated, uh, luxurious, uh, independent uh, energy here. Ooh, that that they go. Ooh, that King of Pentacles showed up early here, <laughs> Scorpio. Ooh. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy here. Ooh. Nine of Cups. I see the strength card here. One more card for Scorpio Spirit. What is this about? Snap. Seven of Swords. Well, it is what it is. I got the Seven of Wands and the Knight of Cups underneath this deck. Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Ooh. And the World card here. So let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. All right. So underneath the bottom of this energy, your overall energy, is the Star card, which is coming true. Healing, hope, inspiration. Ooh, see, somebody you need to heal. The Devil card and the Star card, Scorpio. Ooh, Capricorn and Aquarius here. Ooh. All right, now why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio Spirit? Clarify the Seven of Swords for Scorpio. Why is this here, Spirit? Seven of Swords. Snap, the Emperor. There they go with that ish. Aries energy here. Someone is deceiving somebody. Is Someone is deceiving themselves or trying to be deceptive here. Could be a father figure. Could be a parent. Could be a husband, Scorpio. Damn, King of Coins. Oh, it's the same King of Coins because there they go right there. So this person could be trying to sneak out on some, or this person could be just trying to be deceptive here. Oh, Spirit, I hope not. Oh, my goodness. One more card for the Seven of Swords, Spirit. Why is this here? Six of Pentacles. Wow. So this is someone here who may have been stepping out here. I feel like this is somebody who's married, Scorpio. Because this is someone here, merchant being generous, the king of pentacles. This could be someone here who you was, they were stepping out with you, but they had someone else at home here. Maybe they came in giving to you. Maybe they tried to come off like they were single, but the whole time they're being deceptive because they're married. Ooh, Scorpio, there we go with that. Let's see about this. Let's see about this five of wands. Who's a what's up with this five of wands for Scorpio? Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. This is conflict. This is a disagreement. Uh, uh, external people in your business, nosy people, competition, uh, crabs in the bucket here, jealousy, hatefulness, fighting here, arguments. Uh, too too many people in it. Um, 
I go that two of cups. Clarify this five of wands for Scorpio. Five of wands is the four of pentacles here. So someone is trying to hold back. Maybe this is you holding back from this here. Maybe you're holding back from this. Or maybe someone is holding on to this, this conflict like Because after all, we're seeing the devil. Clarify the five of wands for Scorpio. Why is this here? Got the four of cups. See? Seven of swords. Ooh, snap. Ooh. Somebody either have a lot of people who they're holding on to. Somebody's holding on to this lie, this, this, this secret, this deception here. See that, Scorpio? Somebody holding on. I feel like somebody's holding on to a group of people. Or someone is holding on to this person because maybe they're giving to them. Wow. Seven of Swords came out again. Either someone is holding on to this, but I feel like they're holding on to it because you got the Seven of Swords here twice. Now, this is someone here who, like I said, it could be just their lifestyle. They could have a lot of homeboys, a lot of uh, girlfriends, a lot of uh, uh, friends and family who they allow in their life, in their business here, on a negative level here. But I don't feel like why they should be hiding it. It's got to be more. Spirit, clarify this five of wands for Scorpio. Why is this here, Spirit? Judgment. Oh, somebody's receiving karma here. Whatever they did, they're going to receive karma for it. Because, because of the seven of swords here. I feel like somebody didn't tell you that they were doing something behind the scenes. Now, either it's because they had a whole family or it's because this person here just like confusion here. But I feel like it's a family. I just feel like it's a family that maybe it wasn't the best type of energy here. Maybe this was a lifestyle. Maybe they needed people fighting for their attention that they're still... It's almost like somebody needs someone to boost their ego here or something here. Who? But with this judgment call... Let me need another card. Why are they... Why they oh, maybe they're going to walk away from it. There's somebody walking away from this. Okay, so they're walking away from it, though. Okay. So whatever this was, they're leaving it. They're making up their mind. They're, giving, they're making a judgment call to walk away from it. It could be a whole family. For some of y'all, this person, for some of y'all, Scorpio, y'all was dealing with someone who probably was in a marriage here, but it was full of confusion because they had too many people in their business here, and they could have been holding on to this person because they were generous. It's almost like they're holding on to your person because your person is a boss. They got money. They do very good. And so your person may have not told you about this, but I feel like your person is tired of it because I feel like your person has started holding. I feel like they could be holding on to your person too tightly because of the benefits that they gave them, but your person is tired of it. They're tired of it. Too many people leeching off of this King of Pentacles here. This probably because they got children with the emperor. They're like the the emperor and the king of Pentacles are good uh partners, married partners here. So this is what it is, some type of relate, but they're walking away from they done made up their mind that they've had enough. Whew, Scorpio. Oh, maybe this is a fly on the wall thing here. Maybe it is. Let's see. Now, what's up with this King of Pentacles for Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn? King of Pentacles. It's the three of cups here. This person is trying to, what are they trying to do? Get back with you? And this person trying to come in with you and make things better here? King of Pentacles for Scorpio spirit. King of Pentacles. It's the five of Pentacles. See? I feel like this person was spending too much money on people. Tricking off. See? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This person lost money. You got the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles in the freaking reverse. See there, Scorpio? See, this person could have been a, 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 a shot caller, a, a stunner. I feel like who this person is. It's like when stunning goes wrong. I feel like somebody, or when bowling goes wrong, I feel like this is what happened to your person here. They had a lot of people chasing after them and they, they liked it. Because I feel like they were the ones front, fronting the bill. They were the one tricking because they said it wasn't tricking when you got it. But <laughs> whoever they was tricking off with we wanted too much here. They was used to this King of Pentacles giving. But this King of Pentacles is like, God dang. <laughs> 
I'm taking a fall here. I'm losing out. And this person said, I got to do something quick about this. This ain't working. And the reason why is because the same King of Pentacles, too busy tricking, taking everybody out, picking up the tab. Could have been dealing with multiple people here. It's putting them in the pole house because ain't no money coming in like it used to. Mm -mm. See there? Because maybe it's because this person's receiving karma. Maybe it's because they're receiving karma now. Somebody money finna get stopped, Scorpio, because they because because of their tricking ways here. Somebody's not being wise. Somebody's being loose. Somebody's being loose. But how does this have to do anything with you, Scorpio? I'm, I'm maybe like I said, maybe this is a fly on the wall reading here because I don't see you in here. I don't feel like none of this is you. I feel like spirit is telling you what somebody is going through because I do remember your last reading. You have the King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. It's kind of like the same, the Emperor and the Empress here. Maybe spirit is showing you what happened here. Is this what it seems like? So you have the Four of Cups here. Spirit, clarify this Four of Cups. Four of Cups. It's the Nine of Swords here. Now this person is stressed and worried. I feel like because they feel like you're not going to accept their cup here. See? Ten of Cups. The Hierophant. Because now, so obviously you wanted something with this person. They were too busy out here tricking off with third parties and shit, Scorpio. Out here making it rain on folks who were just using them for their money, Scorpio. Now this person's realizing that they really was just a joker. They really was no more than a trick. They got tricked. And now they money ain't the right. Now this person's feeling like they they're miss, they missed an opportunity here. And now they're worried because they're not going to get this with you. Because I feel like now this person want to settle down. It's high offense. <laughs> it's got to be in Scorpio something that they stressed out about something here. I don't feel like it's with you because I don't see you in here. Unless you're the three of cups here, Scorpio. Maybe you was tricking out with somebody and you had them spending all their money. <laughs> maybe. Maybe that's you. Oh, I see. The, see? Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in the upright here. There's something going on here. It's a lot of shit going on here. Now you got this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Swords is the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So now you have the King of Pentacles twice, and you have the King of Swords. Once again, this is someone making a head over heart decision. They're doing what's best for them now. See? Because this person's facing their fears about something here. Now look, they're facing their fears, or there's a lot. See? Ten of Pentacles. And this Lover card in reverse. I feel like somebody had, somebody is getting rid of another connection because I feel like they're trying to come to you. And it seems like this is what Spirit is just showing you. Once again, I think this is a fly on the wall reading where Spirit is letting you see what's going on with the person that's thinking about you or coming towards you. This is someone here that wants peace. They haven't been getting peace because after all, I don't feel like this is your ten of cups. I feel like this they're stressed out because they're losing something. Somebody losing something here. They could be losing a marriage here. They could be or losing something. They're losing something here. So this, this six of swords is moving towards this king of swords and this moon. I feel like this moon is something that they're afraid of here. Now they could be afraid of a long-term relationship here, especially if they're already having relationship problems here. Let's see, Scorpio. Ooh. It's just getting weird, Scorpio. Did this? This is getting weird now. Somebody is stressed out here. The love is poured out in whatever this relationship is. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Something is poured out. There's not love there anymore. Something has happened, and I believe it took us after all. You got the Eight of Cups here. Somebody walked away. So somebody's love has fell out here. And I guess it's really stressing it by them showing up as the king of swords. So maybe it's this king of pentacles they once was in love here, but they're no longer in love with whatever this toxic dynamic that they were with. So they're going to have to, they're going to have to move on. And I feel like it's hard for them because they're afraid of the unknown. Uh, but I feel like they're about to walk into something long-term that's really going to benefit them. I feel like you got the nine of pentacles here. Let's see. Why is the six of swords here for Scorpio spirit? To be dealing with the Pisces. 
Three of Pentacles. See? So this person is, I feel like this person here is afraid to try to work work as a team with anyone else, especially after they just got through taking a loss in their finances because of whoever they were involved with. So it's hard for this person to deal, team up with folks now, Scorpio. They scary now. Somebody done used them up, but I feel like they put themselves out there to get used. And I feel like somebody took a loss, but it really was really their karma here. Oh, somebody took a real loss, Scorpio, because it's their karma. Now, why is this, uh, why is this, got the nine of cups, nine of pentacles, six of wands. Spirit, why is this nine of cups here for Scorpio? Clarify this nine of cups for Scorpio. Nine of cups is the hermit could be dealing with the virgo here so i feel like somebody here is trying to find the truth trying to find solutions here about what makes them happy this person is trying to be spiritually led to what really will bring them the most emotional contentment here because they want that ten of pentacles there it is again here see this is someone here who is at a crossroad in their life here Still looking for you, though, Scorpio. I feel like this is someone here that's coming towards you, but the spirit is showing what they're going through before they get to you. Could be a king of swords, could be a king of pentacles. This is what somebody went through. All right, the nine of cups and the hermit card here. Spirit, clarify the nine of cups. Nine of cups. It's the page of cups. See, there they go with that little offer here. I feel like this person is scared. I feel like this person here, they work with the wrong people here. They may have gotten taken advantage of here because of their own arrogance or pride. So now this person is scary for them to trust in working with someone else here. So it seems like this person is trying to come your way, but they're going to start off giving you something small because of their past issues here. That's what I feel like here. This is somebody here who is going to take their time with you. So it's almost like you're paying for whatever they've been through with someone else here. Whew. That's what it seemed like to me. Clarify the nine of, nine of cups for Scorpio. Why is this here? Eight of pentacles. See? See, this person wants to work on something. They do, but they're scary. So this person is going to like... See, this person's going to have a major breakthrough, though, the Ace of, Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. This is what this person's going to have. Well, this is what they're coming in. But see, this person does want to work on something that's going to build something here. But they just got out of something, and they're very, very afraid because, like I say, they, whoever they was tricking off with, Scorpio, they took a loss. This person took a loss. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Look. What are they tricking off with? Did they have a third party? They entertain Was they paying somebody bills? What was they doing? You see, they took a loss. This is why this person here is afraid. They, they don't want to deal with it. This person making a head over heart decision. They're looking at it from an analytical way because they're tired. This person's tired of mess. So now this person has, this, has reservations about actually partnering up with people. So this is why this person here is going to come to you with a small offer, but they're going to work things out with you. They're going to put in their work, but they're just going to take baby steps because of what they just experienced or whatever they lost in the past. Ooh. Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio Spirit. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here? Nine of Pentacles. Three of Swords. So this must be them here. Maybe this them or maybe this you. Maybe you feel like this person did this to you, Scorpio. Maybe, maybe this you, they, you feel like they did this to you because after all, check it out. It could be somebody who did this to you too, Scorpio. You got the King of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. Shit. Now they got cheated on. They got dog, but I feel like they got used. They got used for money. Something was money because they was flossing the money here. And so you may feel like, God dang, well, here, here I am. Mr. and Mrs. Independent, I have something to bring to the table. You didn't have to trick off with me, but you go do me wrong and go get it somewhere else. That could be what you're feeling too. Shit, you like, damn. If, if I'd have known you wanted to trick off, why you didn't bring some of that trick off money over here? <laughs> oh, Scorpio. you like, I could have used that Ace of Pentacles in the upright. I feel like that's what it is. One more card for this Nine of Pentacles spirit. 
Two of Cups. See, this that's you right here. This Nine of Pentacles. See, your soulmate did this to you, Scorpio. Because you were sitting here, the ideal person for them in this Nine of Pentacles energy. But instead of them coming to get to you, they over here tricking off somewhere else. And this is why they asked receiving karma. They got took for all of their money. <laughs> They got tricked out all their money. I'm telling you, they did. Why they trying to play big boss captain? Save them, though. See that King of Pentacles? All of them. I'm going to give me a lap dance. They going out to the strip club and things and spending all the money. Then they're about to get broke. Somebody probably ran their credit card and maxed it out here. Somebody made a lick off this person, Scorpio. So you looking at like, damn, so why you have to do me wrong? You over here tricking our money with them, but you ain't came over here and, and made it rain over here. See that, Scorpio? That's your soulmate. See, your soulmate is receiving karma, Scorpio. See? Ooh. One more card for this nine of pentacles. See that, Scorpio? You ain't got to do nothing. See that? You feel like this person really did you wrong, Scorpio. Ten of swords. That's why you done what they asked the Scorpio. Now you done turned your back on them and you're waiting for something else to come in because you know you can do better because you are a good catch. This person, because they overlooked you, Scorpio, that's why they got what that's why they got done the way that they did. This was a wake-up call for them. <laughs> See? You know this was a wake-up call for them, Scorpio, because they had to walk away from it. <laughs> but when it come to you, it's too late. Because you see how unfair it is, Scorpio. Now they're going to come to you with a little bitty funky page. Although they're going to put their work in, but still, they wasn't paging over here. They was they was acing over here. But but this is why they ass is, is, is the missed out. Like, I feel like this, this, person got, this person got hustled. Or this person was so busy tricking off, I feel like somebody did them an injustice here. Now, it could very well be they were, they were stealing from him. Could have been that they were stealing from this person here. While this person was stepping out on you and lying on lying to you about what they doing and what they got going on, somebody was doing the same damn thing to them, Scorpios, what it seemed like. Let me let me look at these cards. Well, that's what it looked like. I feel like this seven of swords is who they were attached to. See? See there? They had a lot of people pulling at them that were holding on to this person, but they wasn't being honest with this person. They wasn't being honest with your person. They was doing them wrong, just like they did you wrong. See, I'm telling you, it's karma. Let me show you. Seven of Swords. The Emperor. This person here, they was trying to act like they was more than what they is. The King of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Now, I feel like this person was doing little things for you, if anything. Or maybe it was just showing that this person was given somewhere else here. They were cheating on you. They were stepping out on you. Could have been to a parent here or just somebody here who just liked to run shit, was feeling they self, thought they was everything because they had some money here. See, here they go again tricking. You see this? Here they go again doing it. You see this? And they were stepping out on you to go off and do this. So this is why it's judgment. Because the same seven of swords they did to you, Scorpio, is coming right back on their ass. But they had it gave, gave them a wake-up call. And they didn't have no choice but to let it go. But it hurt you, though. See there? You like, God dang, I'm sitting here, I'm ready, I'm, I'm able. I ain't, I ain't trying to mess you around. I got my own. I can bring something to the table. And this how you do me? I thought it was some love between us. But I see it ain't, you know, ten of swords energy. So this is why they're coming in with a page of Pentacles, Scorpio, because they done took a money loss. This person done lost some money, Scorpio. So this is why they coming in here. See, this person don't can't come to you broke. They can't come to you empty-handed because you are the one that make them happy. <laughs> ain't that something now they realize here after they did this soul searching and introspecting what makes them happy? And it's you. But they coming in here with this little pissy ass page of Pentacles because they didn't already lost their money tricking off. But they're going to work it out. I feel like things will get better. But I feel like in the beginning, they ain't got much to offer. They got to recall. They're going to have to work some overtime, sell some stocks, sell something. So now you have the Six of Wands here, your last card. Spirit, clarify the Six of Wands for Scorpio. I feel like since you're in the Nine of Pentacles, you may have taken a... 
a very bad hit emotionally, mentally from this person here. But I feel like the universe is still looking out for you, Scorpio. I do feel like you're gonna you're on a journey. You know, a lot of times there's stumbling blocks. Sometimes you wiggle, you get the soul soulmate. Your soul may receive in karma, Scorpio. What they did to you, they got it right on back. And now they trying to come back to you. And whew, wow, Scorpio, that's crazy. I feel like this is you getting a lot of victory and success in your life. Because after all, you turned your back on this person. You're waiting on something better to come in because indeed it is. Like I say, you are a catch in this nine of pentacles. Spirit, clarify the six of wands for Scorpio. Six of wands, seven of wands. See, they're going from six to the seven here. You ain't playing no games. I feel like you're going to be on your high horse. You're going to move on here, Scorpio. See, after you've experienced this tower moment because something came down, but now you're going to approach things differently. You're going to approach them from an intuitive, a spiritual side now. Because like I said, you got some a new past and beginning coming here. Possibly some type of truth. You're going to have a major breakthrough in your life, in your business, in your career. Whatever this is, is really putting you in a position to work on yourself and, and build your intuition so that you'll know, Scorpio. Because I feel like this was rough. I feel like whatever this was done, it was rough. If it makes you feel any better, please believe they're getting it right back. Whoever this is, they're getting it all right back here. All right, give me what else for Scorpio spirit. They're getting it right back. And you're going to be just fine. It may not seem like it now, but you are because you got all these new beginnings here. This tower card, I feel like this tower card is a realization of you. You got to you got to let it go and move on. Possibly even hold back. Make sure you hold back here. And some of you guys are having a hard time holding them back. This person, some of you guys are still in regret mode here, Scorpio. I keep on seeing that king of wands. Y'all got another person coming in. It's either a... a a uh, uh, masculine or feminine. See, as soon as you mo move on to your... See, there it is. As soon as you move on, here come this person. They got that king of pentacles rushing in to you with the truth. You see, you got the ace of swords right there, but they want that ace of wands with you. See, as soon as you move on and you start listening to your intuition, you get quiet and you only focus on your life, then this person going to want to bust a move now and come in and keep it real with you and tell you the truth, Scorpio. But I don't feel like you guys are going to want to hear it. Especially if this person did you like this, see? Six of cups. But what they're going to be met with, <laughs> they're going to try to come in and swoo you after they done took their time and even did you wrong, Scorpio. They're going to try to come in and they're going to be met with a block because they're not going to be able to get to you because now you, you're you going to treat this person with a long handle now, Scorpio, because you're not going to remember how, you're not going to ever forget, nor will you let them forget how they did you, Scorpio. The way this card is said, this is this a type of energy that you, they'll never forget how they did you. And I know you'll never forget either, Scorpio. And it's for you to remember so you won't get back with this person. Because I don't feel like you need to be back with this person. You do have new opportunities coming your way. But I also feel like if this happened to you, Scorpio, you need to focus on yourself so you can heal. Because this is cold. This is, this is cold. But like I say, there is nothing that you will do, that you will not get, uh, you won't get judged for. That's, that's for us all. So it's got to be careful. You can't treat people like crap and think folks ain't going to get you back because it's going to happen to us all, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. So if the video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. You're absolutely awesome, Scorpio. Scorpio, you're number one. In my book. Y'all remember that? A Gladys Knight and the Pips. Oh, man, I remember that song when I grew up. Scorpio, you are number one in my book. If they, if you're not number one in their book, Scorpio, it's because they don't know any better. And that's on point blank, period, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, don't forget to thumbs up this video. Hit your notification bell for all. Leave me a high vibrational comment, Scorpio. Thank you guys so, so much, Scorpio. I appreciate your support, Scorpio. I cannot do this without you, Scorpio. I thank you for taking this spiritual journey with me. It is everything, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much, Scorpio. And I will talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpios.